<laughs> What's up, my people? It's your man, Quincy Whetstone, a.k.a. Q-Stone, and welcome to another episode of Jamming with the Word. If this is your first time watching Jamming with the Word, this is a video series in which I'll be featuring different poets spitting a poem to my music. So if, if you like what you see, please share with everybody you know, all your friends and all your family, all right? And if you're interested in being on Jamming with the Word, all my information is going to be at the bottom of this video, all right? So this week on Jamming with the Word, I got my sister Charlene spitting a poem she titles Kingdom already. never sounded so beautiful in the mind of a troubled soul. Action never felt so present in the heart of a broken spirit. Peace has never been so tangible in the midst of chaos. Grace is beautiful when you understand that you have nothing. Weakness never felt so powerful. Existence is only prevalent with purpose. Emptiness never felt so full until you have encountered Christ. Life is only a vapor. Chasing after it is like trying to grasp wind. The only way it can be captured is if you just stand, breathe, take in the essence of our creator. See that the beauty of your silence was him comforting your troubled soul. Your absence was his presence never forsaking you. That peace that was only tangible in the lack of your understanding is his love. You see, pain cannot surmount the power of our God. So fall back into his bosom, die to self. Abandon all you think you know about you and let your true identity be revealed. You are a child of God. Lies no longer write your story. You are redeemed by truth. Your weakness is his strength. So fight. Fight with all you have knowing that it is he who fights through you. Open your eyes. Set them on the Savior who is able to make beautiful art out of thrown away pieces. You see, you thought you were forgotten. But it takes time to make a masterpiece, so let patience have its perfect work. Put on the eyes of faith. Listen with the ears of hope. Love with the heart of gratitude. Unfold yourself from your downward position. Look up. See that there's so much to be thankful for. The breath in your lungs prove the ink and the pen in the hands of God is still writing your destiny. So before you even get to the last chapter, rejoice. Knowing that it ends in victory because our destination is heavenly. See, this is not to be our resting place. Instead, rest in faith. Knowing that ours is the kingdom. <laughs> 